Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unicorn Games Rain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the Monday painting video. What is the Monday painting video? What's it all about? Well, the Monday painting video is a painting video, but the model or models in question are voted on by you guys from last week's weekly Wednesday, which is a Q&A, a weekly Q&A. I show you guys a host of models and you guys vote on them. And whichever wins the vote gets painted in the Monday's painting video. In the event of a tire, do a dice roll, and that's how we do it. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love, thank you very much. I'll see you in this minute. Right, so before I get into the miniatures in question, you probably hear my voice, so I've got another dose. Let's keep getting these doses, can't get rid of them. I forgot today's a bank holiday. So the farmers are in and out the whole day so far. So I'm going to crack on with this as best I can. But a, the filming might be interrupted because of they're coming with the tractors and moving stuff around and doing all that stuff. And if it is, then, you know, the video might have to go up on the Tuesday. Just I can't I can't film and show you guys what I'm doing when there's loads of tractor noises out of the door and they're moving stuff around and all that craziness. But anyway. We're going to work away as uh, you know as best I can. So you would have seen from the thumbnail that Space Marine Scouts won the vote, which is um, fantastic. But <laughs> there's 15 Scouts here, ten of the new guys and five of the old guys. There's no point in me painting up five five of the new guys, and then I'll get on to the other ones eventually because eventually it takes too long. I'd rather just paint them all up in one go because then they're all done. The same way when I did the uh, built the Death Guard Plague Marines, I could have just done seven in, seven of them on camera, and that's it done. I did seven of them on camera, but I also did build two more boxes of them off camera at the same time. So now all you know, twenty one of them are done, which is fantastic. So that's that's what I want to do. So if this if this does go up on Tuesday, because I run out of time because I, I am actually working today. Or because I can't film as fluently as I would like, or fluidly as I would like, because the farmers are in act and I have to stop and wait half an hour for five minutes for them to finish what they're doing, to spear off, and then they come back again. You know, I do apologise, but that's just the way it is sometimes. So before I get into the models themselves, because they're actually fantastic sculpts, in the wet palette, youth and grey, white scars, screaming skull, and corn grey. That's my space room chapter colours. Um, Bugman's glow. And Cadian Flesh Tone. I've got some Lead Belcher and I've got some Retribute Rama. Now, one saving grace with these guys is they're not fully encased in Power Armor, Space Marine Power Armor. So that saves me having to mess around with my Space Marine Chapter Colors. Because if anyone would see my Chapter Colors, you know that it's, uh, there's a, a lot goes into making them. Because the Screaming Skull takes a couple of layers to go on. So I'm going to finish getting set up and then I'm going to come back to you with the first colours. Right, so a lot of them are wearing like trousers on their bottom half and on the top on their arms there they've got a little cloth clothing. So I'm going to start with those. I'm going to come in with Youth and Grey and I'm just going to pick those all out with Youth and Grey. Then don't panic, I'm not going to do the whole lot on camera. I'm going to do a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go off and do the rest now. Right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come with some white scars. And I'm going to just pick up bits on where I've done the youth and grey I'm just going to pick up a few bits here and there just to give me a different type of shade when it comes to adding the contrast I'm going to go through and do that on all of the guys next thing I'm going to do is come in with some contrast creed camo and those areas that I've already done and they're going to just cover in green camo. OK, 
Again, I'm not going to do all of this on camera, so do a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Already snugging good. All I need to do is go around just make sure there's no little white bits poking out. The reason I did this stage first before I started doing the other colours is because if I go over where I should do onto the black, it's not going to matter with the quick camo. But if I would have painted all that first and then gone over onto it, you would have noticed the quick camo leaking onto it and it would look silly. So I'm going to follow that same step on the rest of them. Right, so whilst I'm waiting for the rest of that to dry, because I think it looks pretty nuts as camouflage gear, I'm going to come in and do the, my space ring chapter colours. So it's really only the shoulder pole that I need to worry about on either side. A little bit more. Give, this is going to take up the coats, unfortunately. This is the way the, this colour works. This is Screaming Skull. It looks horrible at the moment. But the second coat then brings it up even better. Then third coat and fourth, well, sometimes fourth coat. But I'm going to crack on and do that on all of them. Right, so now I'm going to come in with Corn Red and do the same thing on the other side. That's my chapter colours so for everyone that's new. Corn Red one side and Screaming scale the other. Obviously, usually on a space marine, it's the full, full layout. One half one side, one half the other. But that's not for these guys because they're only space marines in learning, so they only got the shoulder pauldrons. I mean, I was contemplating with the backpack, but I think no, leave the backpack as normal because that's not a space marine backpack. That's a temporary backpack, backpack that they use. So now what I'm going to do is come in for some myth, uh, sorry, some lead belcher, and I'm going to pick out all the metal pieces on them. Again, I'm not going to show you all of this, I'm just going to show you some of it. All my, my regular viewers will know I don't really go too mad on the weapons. I try to keep them as simple as possible, not to take away from the model itself. Uh, it's backpack as well is going to be done. But as with true fashion, when I do backpacks with Space Marines, I leave that central bit so I can do it with some retribute armor. So I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of this on all these guys. Now I'm going to come in with some Bugman's Glow. It's a really nice skin tone color. There isn't much skin on show, but the skin that is on show is um, very difficult to see. The face, what I'm talking about. So with Bugman's Glow, what I've done, i just watered it down even more on the wet palette. So it's really watered down. I'm terrible at doing faces, really am. As you can see, it's not, I'm not the best at it. 
but hopefully as that dries, that's going to look absolutely nice. I'm going to crack on to the rest of the, the faces on the rest of them. Now I'm going to come in with some Retribute Rama. I'm going to pick out a few little things like there's a little skull on the gun here on the heavy bolter. But basically the golden Aquila on his chest is going to be painted gold. And this lovely little thing on the middle of his back. All my Primaris Marines have, have that on their backpack. They have that paint gold. So this looks absolutely fantastic. He has gloves on. So that's, that's okay. But some of the other guys don't have gloves. They have like a metal plate across the, the sleeve here. And that will be uh, plated with the gold as well. So I'm going to do that all off camera and come back to you again. Right, so now I've put some Rhinoxide on the wet palette. I'm going to come in with Rhinoxide. And I'm going to pick out all the little pouches that they all have. I don't know why I didn't put Rhinoxide on, the, on there in the first place. Because I should have known they have all pouches. There's a gun pouch there. So we're going to go off camera and do the rest of that on all of them, then come back to you again. Right, for, so for all intents and purposes, these guys are battle ready. So what I'm going to do now, for everyone that's new, is I take it beyond battle ready standard. What that means is, it could be a dry brush, could be an edge highlight, could be a wash down, could be some dry paint, could be a combination of all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Cadian Flesh Tone that I have, I'm going to mix some white with it, some white scars. It's going to be a nicer, a lighter colour. I'm going to come in. I'm just going to just touch it on the, on the guys. On their faces. I'm not going to do on every single one, but I'm going to pick out the ones that have the most face exposed. Just come along. Now it is watered down a little bit more on the wet palette, just to give me a different type of... I still look wonky. No. There we go, it's better. Then I'm going to do on a few of them. I'm going to come back to you for the next station. Right, so now some was decorated red on the wet palette. I'm going to come in. I'm going to go across the corn, the uh, corn red that's on the shod pad. I'm not taking it all the way to the edge, I'm just taking it. Give me a bit of shading on the shoulder pad. Now those of you regulars here will know that's how to do my Space Marines. So we'll do the, that on all the corn red and all the rest of the shoulder pads. Right, so the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the last bit of lead belcher and some my scars, mix them together on the wet palette. And what I want to do, I'm going to take that mixture and I'm going to run it along the edge of the blade. Give you that nice shiny white silvery look. Do it just both sides edge of the blade. But it's gonna give you that nice sharp edge look. I'm also gonna take it and do it with a chain sword, I think.
No, so I'm going to do that on the rest of the guys and then we'll come back to you again. Right, these guys are now done. The only thing extra I could possibly do, say like on the bolt gun guy, is just maybe add a little bit of red in there somewhere just to break the gun up a little bit. Which is not, not necessarily needed, but it could be done. Yeah, maybe on these guys' cloaks as well, just maybe a little bit of uh, green or something, just along, just walk down along the tips of it. But, you know, I, I'm quite happy with these guys. I think they look fantastic. Very easy. They're actually really enjoyable to paint, actually. I'm actually uh, glad that they won the vote, even though when they when I first see them won the vote, I was like, oh my goodness me, there's 15 of them, and, you know, it's going to take a while, but no, I'm glad they're finished. So, uh, hopefully I've got enough time to edit the video and upload it today. I don't know if I have, because I've got work this evening, but if not, it'll go up on Tuesday, and again, if it does, if it does go up on Tuesday, I do apologise, guys, just a lot of... A lot of things going on over the weekend with St. Patrick's Day and Little Ones in the Parade and then I forgot Monday was bank holiday so farm is in and out. But thank you, massive thank you to everyone who voted. If you're not subscribed to the channel guys, hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to this video of more and more people. And makes this amazing community of you guys grow even more. The, the support that you guys have given me over the last last year is absolutely amazing. You know, the channel has grown so much, and I, I appreciate that, you know, from all of you. Any comments or anything you want to say about these guys, check them below as always, guys. I'm going to bring you down to show you some pretty pictures. But until next time, hit the buttons for me. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.